which apparently found out John Constantine's first appearance is in Swamp Thing. Nice. I did not know that. It's in uh, Volume 3. I did not know that. When he became the Swamp Thing, I found myself singing the theme song to the old cartoon. Swamp Thing. <laughs> <laughs> swamp. Swamp Thing. That's, 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 that's wild. Yeah, I know, but that, that, was, that was the theme the, the song. song. That was, was it really? Yeah. Like, <laughs> it was awesome. I remember that. Hi, and welcome to Probably Comics. I'm Thomas. I'm Tyler. I'm Link. And this is our weekly segment, What's in the Box? What's in the Box? <laughs> <laughs> Where we talk about what we bought this week. Um, yeah. So, uh, Link, you want to get us started? <laughs> yeah, man. Um, so, I I don't know. I didn't finish it, but that's just because I was just borrowing Tyler and Thomas's copy of The Amazing Spider-Man, number 681. Mm-hmm. Um, the gentleman loved it. Yeah. Yes. Oh man, it was. Yeah, really I fun. liked what I read. It's still so good. All the Johnny Peter banter is. Oh my god, really great. It's Dan Slott is just like I mean he he's writing he's writing Spider Man like no one ever has as far as I can tell. Um, it's it's he's he's captured Spider Man's voice so perfectly, mm-hmm. and uh, he can write every character that without. I mean, in, like even even the like Mysterio. Yeah, and this is like so. It's so perfect. Like his voice, so perfect. And this was a great little um, two shot arc. That I like that they're doing those. It was on purpose because the next one is a six issue arc, and it gets set up here, sort of, because it's Doctor Octopus, and and you're not sure it's why the new Sinister Six. Yeah, because you're not sure why they did what they did here, but you will find out in the in the next. So big there's going to be a different Sinister Six than the one that's in this. No, that no, is the new that one. Is yeah, it. this is the setup. For yeah. the new Sinister and Six. And that's what? Octopus, Sandman, Mysterio, Mysterio Electro, others, uh, uh, Vulture, and Change Person. Chameleon. 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 Change, Change Person. person. Chameleon. Chameleon. One, of, one of the original Spider Man villains. Um, so, I mean, yeah, it's so good. I'm so happy that I'm so happy that I did not stop reading, mm-hmm. uh, that I picked this back up after Spider Island. Um, because it's just it's it's been every every time it comes out I'm like yes and then I get I get really excited and it's a it, blast it's, like it's it's really fun it's I know you hate a, that word title. no 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 I mean you got <laughs> I said one thing one time <laughs> like episode three yeah <laughs> it, fine it's super good it's it's just taken out of context y'all <sighs> it's super it's amazing Spider Man super good I mean it ought to be good cool <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry um. Uh, hey, so uh, did everyone read Defenders number four? Yes. Nope. You didn't. I read the first two pages. <laughs> this was, this is really good. This it's is fun. the this was the best. This one This is so the far. best one so far. What? You got to be kidding me! Oh, that was it's awful. Really good. Like, how did you get through the first three pages? Oh man, I thought it was really great. That fucking girl. That girl was so stupid. She was like, well, "Yeah, I don't, know, I don't have no self esteem." I was like, "This is horrible to and read." So and so you, I think that gives you a little more. Uh, I hated it. I, I really like you. It. I you have to understand Doctor Strange's character because he's a because he's you know sorcerer supreme. And yeah, he's, he's also a, a ladies fucking man. ladies man. Oh yeah, pussy chaser. Man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, like, I just damn right. He is. I just don't I love care. It. Like it, there was like uh, I didn't. I don't know. I didn't read enough of it, but I got to the point where it was that um, street magician, and I was just like, I'm I'm out. I'm oh yeah, well yeah, that guy. He decides to be a dick and try and ghost form and yeah. No, I was like no, blackmail Doctor I'm Strange. Out. I'm out. And Doctor Strange um, is like bitch. Yeah, I thought it was a nice little like in between, um, and uh, it's a nice gonna, one and done. Yeah, everything's gonna pick up in the next issue. Uh, the machine, the wishing machine, which he wishes his old girlfriend back to life. I She's saw. I, mm, yeah. Didn't he do that early in the book? Because I think yeah, I saw yeah, that. Yeah. But he wishes her, um, and then is that Namor the Omega at the, thing? Huh? Or the Omega thing? Yeah. Okay. And at the very end, no, Namor finds like underwater, deep underwater, a symbol exactly like this machine so like we're finding out where it came from what it is i'm uh, out, I'm out. I don't care. that's cool yeah i mean I, I thought it was fun it too. was it was it was okay and i just don't i just don't care about any of the characters mm. and so i love I, namor see i <laughs> name i get my namor fix namor? well other places i like oh, i like dude. i like so, namor and i'm really i love silver surfer um, she Hulk or Where? Red She Hulk? I can give. See, her, I like you know, Iron I can, Fist, but he's like. Oh, I love Iron. Yeah, Iron I hate Fist, his character. Red She Hulk. Uh, I can take her leave. Doctor Strange is pretty cool. Yeah, I like um, him. But uh, really, I I love the Surfer, and uh, I I just absolutely fucking love Namor. I can't yeah. believe that. That's I was I'm I was fully into the expecting. Male Sandra. I was fully expecting for everybody to everybody to be like. 
Fuck defenders, we're done. No, that's, I'm, that's no, crazy I'm keep to me. reading. No, I'm, wow. I'm in. Okay, I'm okay. out. I mean, I'm not saying that it's like my favorite book of all time, but it, it's got a couple more issues. Uh, Ultimate's comic Spider Man number eight. It just keeps get. It just keeps on keeping on. I don't understand it's, how it, he does it. Oh, okay, it's so good. It, yeah. Um, it's not like he's doing anything like crazy or nope. huge, but he's building up to it. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I. Really dig this version of the scorpion. I think he's yeah. kind of cool, and he's really way more badass in the book than he looks. It's such a on good like, and ev- every other book that um, that tells a story this way, where it's like super slow burn and mm-hmm. it takes forever to get going. I'm always like, you need to get to the fucking point. Yeah. But with this one, I'm like, cool. I- I'm enjoying every yeah. minute of his like little origin story, and when he like gets in little fights, and then he like with, like with the ringer. Yeah, the so ringer stupid. and the but kangaroo. Yeah, and like, yeah. but it's 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 really good. But he's it's fighting all these up. like it's fighting all these. He's fighting all these like low level Spider Man villains mm-hmm. like to get ready for Scorpion, which is gonna be the, like the big fight. Um, <laughs> and can I just say, uh, I ha- I haven't read any of Ultimate Spider Man ever, uh, but that cover art can suck my dick. Yeah, it's not good. It's not great. Fucking terrible. None, none oh, the and stuff. and Gwen Stacy and Aunt May. Oh man, found great out scene. They were in Paris and they saw the newspaper was like new Spider Man and they're like, Ooh. and yeah, it's in it's in French and she's like, Gwen, what does this say? Yeah, like she's losing it and, and like I like that he's keeping characters from the yeah. old day. He's not just completely wiping yeah. the slate clean. Yeah, he's he's making. Miles is going to have to learn that his life is is full of consequences, and, and his powers came with great responsibility. Yes, indeed. Um, man, <laughs> Ooh, what a good book! Swamp Thing, God. number seven. Oh man, finally! I mean, like yeah. we we've been waiting on Alec to get mm-hmm. fucked up by the green and like wrapped up, and but it was such a good is, like man. in a giant Brussels sprout. Very <laughs> little, very little happened. Like if you uh, think yeah. about it. Like it was just him kind of arguing with the green and then making the green feel like an idiot a couple <laughs> of times and then being like, well, you just like spray that spray that thing. I know I'm never going to be human again. Well, I, I really like um, the way that uh, we're learning a more about Alec and B that this is going to be a very uh, Swamp Thing is going to have a very different attitude than he ever has before, because the whole point of Swamp Thing is it's a mystery as to what he is and why he's there and why he's important. Mm-hmm. And now we now know. Alec has a motive. Yeah. And for, for the first time in a long time, the Swamp Thing is Alec. Right. And it's not, it's not this thing that thought it was Alec. It's now Alec Holland, and he has his own motives and his own and, reasons for doing things. And wings. Yes. Yeah. And is his, that new? Well, that's new. That's yeah, new. I think yeah, so. that's um, new. Though uh, he can just uh, basically teleport by growing a new yeah, body I guess anywhere. that's true. Really? According to uh, John Constantine and Alan Moore. Yeah. Nice. Uh, okay. Yeah, I can't, can't praise it highly enough. This was the first week that I was like, yeah, this is better than Animal Man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think that every week. Um, gentlemen, uh, adjectiveless S- X-Men, number 26. That's uh, Gessler's run on X-Men. Yeah. Uh, um, I mean, I still hate all the stupid vampire shit, but Deadpool is the first well, character you see when you open the book, which yep. means I will automatically like it no matter how bad it is. Yeah. And um, But really, as far as this arc goes, this has been the best issue so far since it all started. I really like uh, Domino and Deadpool teaming up. Uh, it's it's just, um, it's it's really great. So that falls under the heading of better than last week. It, well, it's <laughs> better than yeah. the past like four books. Yeah. It was it was really good, and there was like a uh, there's this omniscient character, and we'll talk about him again later, who's who's in this book and in Wolverine, and we don't know who it is or why, and he doesn't say anything. He's just silent, and he's wearing a kabuki mask. Mm-hmm. He's pretty creepy. Looking. He's really creepy, and I, I'll second that. Like I was so not look. I, I saved this book for the dead center of my stack. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to read this at all, and opened it up, and it was like. Hey, Deadpool. I was like, oh, okay, I guess this will be okay. Yep. And it was really good. Him and Domino, um, little tete a tete. You really live in your own little world, don't yeah, you? Yeah. He's like, wait, did I say that out loud? I thought it was one of the little squares. <laughs> it was awesome. It was good. Um, you're, you're narrating your own storyline again. <laughs> in the ongoing saga of Link getting roped in by a mini series. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's a mini? I thought it was yeah. an ongoing. Oh, no, yeah. It was 404. This is Villains for Hire. It's um over. Yeah, it was a, it was a good ending of a terrible book. So <laughs> you know, like I mean, of you know, for bad miniseries, uh, it was yeah okay good. You know, we found out it was a whole big double cross by Misty Knight to to finally take down Purple Man, and she was successful. Well done, good yeah. job. Um, and they finally like took in Man. yeah, and they took in all the villains, like all the villains that were a part of Villains for Hire. That were for Hire. They 
they got him. So yeah, good job. Uh, Yay. Okay. Um, All right. Uh, who all read Winter Soldier? I think it was just us, me, you, me, uh, yeah. me and Link. I think uh, Winter Soldier number three. For what? Um, I I thought it was really yeah. great. Um, no, I did. I think you're missing out big time. I love the art in this eh. book, frankly. Yeah, I think, the art, I think the, the art, art is number fantastic. one was really good. Yeah, I will give it that. I just don't care about the character enough to read his own read a series. You know, me. I didn't think so either, and um, I do. And not, and also uh, not. Not Sorry. all the time. It's as much as I think it's as much a Black Widow book. That's what I was about to say. Yeah. Like I, I really love Widow. Yeah, she's great. I just like it's not. It's not interesting enough for me. I, I mean, I pulled nineteen books this week. Yeah. So it's certainly not interesting enough for me to pay like for it to be my twentieth book. You know. Mm-hmm. So I don't want to. Yeah, I'm I'm buying too many as it is. <laughs> uh, yeah. Basically, uh, Bucky's getting ready to. Help Doctor Doom, even yeah. though it says he's gonna fight him. But well, no, 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 no. That well, they do fight. Yeah. Um, that was in the Defenders where it said they were gonna fight. Oh, uh, okay. On, on one of the little things at the but uh, but with um with Doom, Doom's about to be framed. Bucky and Widow are like, Yo, Doom, you're about to get framed. <laughs> Doom's like, Fine, I won't kill you. Fine. Yeah. Um, this time. <laughs> yeah. You're safe for now, Richards. But um, Bucky. but yeah, so it's it's getting pretty cool. I'm excited to see what goes on with the Doombot. I'm glad that uh, Lucia von Bardis is a bad guy again. I really mm. like her as a villain. I think she's pretty sweet. I don't have a whole lot of concept of her before this. She's a cyborg. Uh, so. Well, the um, because Nick, uh, I mean, they kind of explain in this book everything yeah. that happened. Um, yeah, I do cool. like. I am interested in the Doombot himself, and that because this is one of the like. There's maybe like ten. That Doom designed to think they were Doom, mm-hmm. like so. Not not even that it pretends to be Doom. It believes that it's Doom, and the whole time do not talk down to Doom. Yeah, and then and then she'll be like, go to sleep, because she has the codes, yeah. she, and then like if it's voice activated to her, and he'll be like, I don't know why I'm. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it's yeah. pretty sweet. All right. uh, so uh, on a Brubaker run, Fatal number th- three. three, three, three. Yeah. Um. Uh, I think I'm the only one reading it. Yeah. I have no fucking idea what's going on in this book. <laughs> I made it two pages in, and I was already like, I don't even remember where we left off last time. Like, none of this is sticking. I might buy number four and then read all four issues at once to see if it makes so sense. So is that supposed to be the arc for... Is the arc? No, I mean, I have no idea. You're just going to guess. I, yeah, I, I'm fucking clueless. There's, <laughs> I, there's like three timelines. They all have to do with the same woman, and that's about all I can figure out. Yeah. But... Because all the characters look exactly the same, <laughs> it's hard to tell what timeline you're in because they don't tell you. Yeah. They don't fucking say anything. And so... Context clues. Yeah. Zero <laughs> context clues. And if you read the thing at the beginning, that's when I figured out it was three different timelines. Yeah. was because the thing at the beginning in issue two told me. Issue one does not make it clear at all. People yeah. really seem to like this book. Um, I guess. On the internet. I mean, not as much as some of the other ones we're going to talk about. No. But, um, yeah, it's... It's not all that. Nor is it a bag of chips. Uh, Rachel Rising, number six, mm-hmm. Tyler. This this book is interesting because it has somehow managed to only come out on weeks that we do not record. And huh. that is, this is this, it's did that five times. Yeah. It's and so the sixth one was this week. Luckily, they had one copy at Kingdom. That's all they got. And nobody bought it until wow. I came in on Friday. And he was like, oh, okay. Because. Like nobody knows about it. It's basically it's just like it's a horror book. Uh, the the premise is like Rachel is the main character. The beginning of the first issue, she gets strangled, her eyes go all strangled, and she gets these strangle marks and muddy berries are in the sand, and she gets up. And she's not a zombie, but she's also not alive. So she's like her pulse is like six beats a minute. Like she's all she's for all intents and purposes dead. Um, and it's her trying to figure out why she's alive, but on the but on like on her way, she's finding that there's this um evil girl it's kind of like the shining like red room i guess this is evil girl that appears to this little girl and the and that evil spirit is convincing people to to kill women and bury them where she was buried mm. um so issue six just continuing that storyline there's nothing real i mean it's it's going to be really good as a trade because there's no real distinguishable like, difference between the issues like i couldn't tell you exactly what happened in six but i know what's happened throughout um, but I mean, it's really good. It's written and drawn by uh, Terry Moore. It, I mean, it's it's fantastic. Every time it's it comes, not to Tony Moore, Terry, Terry, Terry Moore. Moore. Yes, and it, it's very good. Are there any relation? Uh, not that I know of, but I do follow both of them on Twitter. It's black mm. and it's black and white. It's extremely well drawn. I, I can't mean, read it's it. just like it's just real. I, I Wizard really, of Oz I, I really loved it. I really am loving it. Um, I encourage if you can find it to get it. But I mean, I can't 
I've been looking for number two since it came out, and I haven't found it yet. Yeah. So, um, I think Tyler and I read um, Green Arrow number seven, which is the uh, the first new of the new mm-hmm. see and I, creative I, team. I was gonna wait on you guys to read it so I could find out how it was before. Yeah, I it's went not. And it. It's not great. It's not uh, I'll read number eight. Nope. Personally, but um, no, it's it's not good. There, I mean, there is a great. Mon- uh, Menage Menage Quatre. 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 He fucks three girls on a plane. Tween or triplets? Yeah. Like so But they're nefarious. It's nefarious. Like they're the whole time. So yeah. Stupid, yeah, right? it's like you kind of want to be like Ollie. Yeah. Ollie, please have <laughs> Seriously. some common sense. And his jump like his jump in logic made no sense. It was like Oh, look at these triplets. They're super hot and they made me a tiny they made me tiny. They've got arrows. lots of cool arrow so ideas. I quit. Bye, and yeah. then like, ri- and then rides off into the sunset on his jet with the trip. With like, it doesn't make any. The sense. only thing I can so I can even imagine is that like he's somehow new and he's trying to get at their dad because they keep talking about how their dad is who made them this way. Yeah, they finish they finish each other's sentences. They speak they're in like uh, the, the, the Stepford triplets. Cuckoos. Huh? Yeah, like the, the Cuckoos, the Stepford yeah, Cuckoos, the Cuckoos. Yeah. But they're way hotter and can I jump around know. and stuff. I thought when I the first picked are like this 15. up. I mean, they're not hot because they're underage. Yeah. <laughs> when I first picked this up, I'm I thought 15. this was. <laughs> I thought this was three black canaries for some reason. Yeah. I was like, that was that's gonna be cool, but no, yeah, this wasn't. I just don't buy Steve Jobs as a as a superhero. Yeah. So I, I'm I'm I, like, it's not even that it wasn't it wasn't written well, but yeah, I also dia- don't care about the characters. The dialogue's so ultra out. choppy. Yeah. Like, there's not even there's a couple things where scenes changed, mm-hmm. and I found myself needing a. Meanwhile, at yeah. Star Labs. And the like whole a, thing and know. the whole thing was like and it's a woman writing it, which was super surprising because the whole thing is basically like Oliver Queen. Oh yeah. F- like oh hey ladies, let's One get big some how about my stick my dick in your veg? Yeah. I was just like, dang lady. The exploitation of You women. are playing in a I mean it's like she's trying too hard to be like a cool cool chick, you know, the yeah. girl that from your office that goes to the strip club with you. I'm cool with this. It's empowering. So she me. wrote <laughs> Avengers Origins Luke Cage, right? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of shitty comic books, and I'm like, oh no, it's creased. Um, so, and I'm like the of the Avengers Academy, like warrior. I'm the guy that's always no, it's gonna be good again. No, no, no. I don't know, man. I I don't know about this. One. This was this my was last Avengers Academy issue. Avengers Academy number twenty seven. Uh, they even brought in a really awesome young super team, the Runaways. Mm-hmm. Which, if you guys like, seriously, I've got four. Volumes of Runaways. He please loves the read I, those. I have three tradebacks I have to finish first. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. when you get done, please feel free because those See, are great. This was not good. It was not good. And we're continuing. <laughs> why? Why? Why is it such a huge deal that some of these characters are, are homosexual? You're right. No. Why is it such a big deal? Like it shouldn't. It just shouldn't be as big of a thing. I just don't understand. And then uh, it's just it's just like it's not that it's not that important about them. It doesn't add anything to the character. Yeah. It doesn't. There's there's no conflict because of it. There's nobody that's on the other side of this issue. Uh, just, yeah, outside of them going, I'm uncomfortable with it. And it, but it's uh, uh, on top of that. It's not good, and yeah. I'm not gonna read it anymore. It's too much dialogue. <laughs> um, it's just not good. It's a hard. It's like a chore to read. Is it still full of fart? Uh, no, I've never not bad. liked it's the art in this book. The art's not bad. I mean, it's not great, but it's certainly not bad. And I don't know who any of the characters are, and they're mm-hmm. not making me feel for any of them. Like I don't want to know who they are. I know that one of them's White Tiger because she's a White Tiger. Yeah, and that's all I know. Like it's. I mean, I just don't care. I'm done. I'm out. Bye. I'm Word. quitting in the middle of the arc too. I don't even care. Okay. Don't care. Um, Spoiler free. So, <laughs> this has been a year for an odd year for many series, and some of them have been, most of them have been awful. But every now and then, you'll get a gem, and Avengers: Children's Crusade was a gem. Neither of you guys have read it, but you're going to. Yeah, Trade I, the- I'm really. Um, kicking myself in the shin for having not read yeah, it. Yeah. The hardcover comes out t- two weeks. Okay. Uh, we've talked earlier, and I am uh, not going to be a spoiler on this. Please I'm don't. just going to let you know that this was great. Um, they have wrapped some things up, um, but they've also left... It's not like they've left like a hangar, yeah. so like they're definitely going to do something, do more with this, but they have left the possibility. Is it important to the AVX stuff? Mm. Uh... I th- I think it might be, yeah. Uh, but I mean, you are we already know this, but you know she's back Scarlet because Witches. of this, so that's probably going to be important, yeah. 
Um, she's she's is the that, crux that, of a lot is that of it. Her with cloak? No, no she's her Doom. Doctor Doom. They're married. Yeah, or betrothed. Oh, that's well, I, I didn't get a good look at the cover. I saw Black Hood, and I was like, because oh, Doom's got her powers now, right? I mean, well, he can like use her. And, he did. Yeah. yeah Sorry. Yeah. Spo- you, no, it's fine. You're I'm, asking me spoiler yeah, questions. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna read it. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but it was very good. Um, it is good. It it's self contained. It doesn't really lead too huge into anything yeah. f- in the future and it doesn't <laughs> fuck up anything from the past well the young because the young avengers don't have a book right? no they don't so and they, I, w- yeah. I wish they did um, yeah. personally um as long as gauge Christus does not write gauge. it yeah um, gauge Heinberg. is doing good on avengers Le- or x-men legacy though yeah he's doing I don't great. understand can i uh before we go to venom can we talk yeah. for just a second about we'll go to tyler's digital corner <laughs> um Welcome to Tyler's Digital. There were two. There were two big. There were really two really big image number ones this week. One of which we'll talk about much later, um, mm-hmm. because we all read it. The other one you can't find. Actually, Link saw it and didn't buy it. Sorry. Hell yeah, number yeah. one. Um, hell yeah, number one is. Have known. Yeah, it's it's really really good. It it's basically um, like this guy's this guy's dad was saved by superheroes in the Gulf War. Gulf War? Yeah, nineties. That War. makes me say hell yeah. Yeah, that's right. Hell yeah. So he's in he's in this prestigious college or it doesn't that doesn't even matter. He's a son and he's got super he's got superpowers but they're not great. He's got like sort of he's sort of strong. Moist. Yeah, and he can <laughs> sort of he's sort of invulnerable but not like Superman invulnerable. Yeah. So the powers are getting watered down as they go generation to generation. And so it's him him we were we we're just exploring his character and then at the end these this like teen superhero squad like explodes out of nowhere and is like everywhere else we've looked you're dead so they're like from other universe or something oh. so that's it's like the superheroes are it. oh my <laughs> god so the superheroes are dying out and he's like one of the last ones and so it's going to be like his story and it, it, i really it's it's a good first issue i really encourage if you can find it to get it when we're done can you i mean you, you can get this digitally though right yeah i got it on my uh on comiXology yeah um can you get that can you also get uh, can you also get Peter Panzer Faust, which mm-hmm. we talked about? I want you to show me because Comicsology is different now, and I don't like it. So on the computer, mm-hmm. I don't. I use it on my iPad. Okay, well we'll talk. Yeah, we'll but yeah, you can get Peter Panzer Faust, and Peter Panzer Faust number two is uh, next week. Actually, awesome. Ooh. Um. So uh, moving on, we have Venom Circle of Four number finally fucking done <laughs> number fourteen. Um, w- dear Reminder, you saved it. Somehow, yeah. Somehow, Somehow it turned out okay. You know how? He's Remender. No, because he wrote it. <laughs> yeah, but because Alejandro wasn't in it, but for like two, yeah. pa- like for like two panels, I was and hoping for most of it so has, and for a lot of it has a gun against her head, and a lot yeah. of it was, and it was Flash. It was Venom. Well, That's yeah. what this book was about. Was Venom, and like the final battle was like so throwaway. It was like, well, it's Venom, Red Hulk, Ghost Rider, and he's all one big thing, <laughs> and uh, he wins. Bye, and that was it. And then, like the symbiote went back to uh, Venom, and he reconciled yeah, with it, Cap, and so he's gonna be a Secret Avenger now. Yeah, which which is that. So this obviously happened before the last issue of Secret Avenger. Yeah. yeah, and so it's but it, so he wrapped it up really nice, and it was. I mean, I did not have high hopes for it either, no. but he. I mean, it was a really good. Like, mm-hmm. let's move on. Mm-hmm. And I mean, you can tell that Remender was like, uh, "All right, off we go." Okay, I've done my yeah. due diligence. I've yeah. done what the the big he- the but the problem the is like this one. To. Like to me, this th- and a lot of people are actually really enjoying this miniseries as a whole, which I don't understand. But to me, if I if I w- had not read Venom before and was like, "Well, it's this big thing, and they're doing it every week. I'm going to read it now." I would be like, "Uh, nope, I'm not. This yeah, is no, all we're yeah. going to read it." Yeah. So I think I think they missed the point a little bit. But this was a. I mean, they wrapped it up nicely. I'm really excited for the next one. Cool. Everybody um, agree with that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Age of Apocalypse number one. Uh, Thomas and Tyler read this. I read the point one thing, mm-hmm. and I'm I'm not interested. Ah, uh, it's it's a cool idea. I'm really interested in getting to know the cast. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, strike like Prophet. It's a cool idea, like seeing the, like humanity, like because he's not a mutant at all in this universe, right? Right. Str- or so we think. So he's an a- he's AOE Williams. No, no, Stryker, he right? is, he's he's anti mutant yeah. basically right so i mean but he's so he's like using his human fortitude and intuition to like uh y- you know to save what's left of humanity from these mutants and it's a cool idea but at the same time i just don't care because none of them like the i just want to see i want to see gene gray 
and sh- with like Phoenix Force or as a psychic of some in some capacity or something. I don't care about her. Like, well, my husband's bad now, and I don't have any powers, and well, I'm just like, I don't, ca- the, I just don't well, care. Yeah, the the thing about this book that is is gonna have to be a very like uh, stick with it sort of thing is that these are all brand new characters. We don't really what? know anything about them. Even even the the Victor Creed and Jean Grey that we've seen, we, we only know, know them through X Force, right? And even then, it's very surface level. Um, and actually, they they may be from the '90s Age of Apocalypse cast. Well, the, the Age of Apocalypse, they had, didn't, X-Men was Age of Apocalypse, right? Didn't they have powers back then? This this happens after the point one. Yeah. So that that's when they lost their powers. Right. So, um, but I'm interested to get to know the human cast specifically because they are the brand spanking new, I don't really know, they're all traditionally yeah. villains. Yeah. I know that. They're all traditionally X-Men villains, but Deadshot? now. Deadshot? Is Deadshot one of them? Um, or was that another book that I read? Deadshot is um um He's one of the vampires. No, he's Quick Shot is that's one of the vampires. Yeah, no, there X-Men. was a girl there's a girl in there that yeah. shot really well. What was Dead Eye. Name? Dead Eye. Deadshot is from DC. Yeah, that's, Deadshot's uh, in Suicide, Suicide Squad. Squad. Okay. Um but I, I'm really interested to get to know the characters. I really like the book a lot. Um I'll definitely pick up number two. Um if by issue four I'm not really digging the characters and I'm not really digging the writing style, I'll drop it. The thing about this book that the, the only thing that would have saved this book for me was it doesn't have any it doesn't have any uh, super um, superstar creators on it, which I think it's missing. Like they should have gotten somebody really really good to do the first like couple of issues so that it was like it found its ground really fast instead of getting like a guy I've never heard of. You don't and like Lapham? And I may be alone. I may not. I may be the only one, the guy that doesn't know who that is, but. If they had gotten like nope. a, a Bendis or a Remender or anybody, anybody really like a, um, I mean, who's uh, any like a, 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 a British fraction? Yeah, no, Gillen, <laughs> British Gillen, Gillen or anybody like a Joss Whedon. No one's <laughs> English in this, so Gillen can't write it. I guess that's true. <laughs> but uh, I mean, but I mean, it's it's not bad. I just don't care enough about it to yeah. read it anymore. Well, and that's that's the thing is it, it's going to be an investment, and and the idea is that I'm hoping I'm going to get a return on that investment. Right, and I also uh, feel like reader. I also feel like that I'm as as much as I love the X Men, I'm not invested as much in the X Men universe as you are and I feel like this is a very would be a very interesting parallel if you super were super into X-Men so that may be something there too but but I mean I had a good time I like I said I'll give it four issues if after four issues it's just not delivering then yeah cut it that's how I did the defenders um it is mini series week here at uh probably comics (laughs) and um I am I am still plugging away at Fear Itself the Fearless number ten of twelve. It's almost wah, over. Wah. It it so is close. almost over. But I'll say this to you guys: it just started getting good. It only it's took about them, it, it only took them ten them a issues. Whole summer yeah, event and ten yeah. issues. Um, ten. No, yeah. what, what is it? What is that? Five months. Yeah. It was two yeah, months yeah. to a month. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. It's and it'll be six total. Uh. I don't know. It's cool now. I mean, like this was a this was a great issue. The Avengers show up. Yeah. She gets pissed. Um, Sin has all the hammers. All um, the hammers. Yeah. And uh, they does she make a wish and go and Goku gets small again? <laughs> <laughs> Dra- I'm sorry. Dragon Ball Z humor is not funny. Uh, sir, that's Dragon Ball <laughs> GT. Oh, excuse yeah. me. That's that's a, a whole excuse different me. ball game. Yeah. Oh god. Okay. No, but this was this was good. This was probably the best it's gotten. And this and last issue were good, uh, just because storm was cool. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I'm 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 ready for it to be finished. Um, but I will enjoy the next two issues, I think. And yeah, just glad for it to be done. Awesome. Um, Detective Comics, Batman number seven. Oh my god. Uh, speak. Uh, speaking of glad things are done. Um, I feel like every month you guys seem really disappointed in this book, and it makes me wonder why you continue to this read it. This is my it. last yeah. one. Do you think so? I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I don't <sighs> care. Like, it's just not... Well, it wasn't the penguin. It's God, just not... No, I mean, the penguin could have been cool. Yeah. Like, we could have done... We could Isn't have that done, the point of the penguin, is that he'll never be cool? I guess, but like, we could have done, like, Batman Returns Penguin and made him, like, super grungy and so weird. Yeah. And instead we got... Tuxedo Penguin who tuxedo. runs a casino, wah, and it's just like oh yeah, all the wah wahs they write were wah-wahs. absent from this book. They no, were there was a couple. Oh, were there really? There I don't a, remember. It. Literally, I think there were two wah wahs in one. But the speech thing, bubble. Like, it's just not like when you're when you're writing a Batman story and you're not Scott Snyder and Scott Snyder's writing another one. 
stop it because you suck. <laughs> Like, I mean, I'm sorry. Like, the only other, like... Just I mean, quit it. Yeah, like, Jeff Lemire, please come write Batman Detective Comics because yeah. Tony S. Daniel is awful. Tony S. sucks. It's really not good. I mean, it's just yeah. not good. And and you're right, Thomas. Like, it was it started off super strong. Oh, man. It was my favorite. It was thing? better than Batman to me for the first three issues. And then it just, like, he just was like, well, Dollmaker, how about Penguin? And I was just like, no, have, how about back to Dollmaker. Dollmaker? Or the Joker without a face. Like, what? where is that? It's just... Well, I, that, that was uh, Dick Grayson dressed as the Joker. Don't you remember? Oh, yeah. That was, it was silly. And I, I'm, not, I'm taking it off my pole. I'm done with it. All right. Um, Uncanny X-Men number eight was badass. It was good. Yeah, it was... And he I, explained Unwife. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I really... Um, I think one of my one of my favorite moments is when he's like, "Do you have a term for the uncontrolled replication oh, of cells?" Yeah. And he's like, "Yeah, we call it cancer." <laughs> Cyclops just looks down and it says dot 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 cancer. But yeah, I I really dig Apex. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I really dig Apex. I've really liked this whole arc a lot. I like that Magneto is really into keeping it a secret. I also loved the whole thing about Namor getting with the tapeworm. I was just about to say. And, and the way it ends, his last interaction with Hope. Redheads. Like, redheads. Yuck. Yeah. And his face, he's ick, like, ick, ick. Ah, he's got no. troll face on hardcore. But then it's like, and then like Hope makes that awful pun. He's like, if I called you the king of Ablantis, would you hold it against me? And he's like, yes, very much. Yes, <laughs> You're a child. Yeah. Um, no, this, I was going to say that uh, Fearless had a really great panel, but this de that definitely gets panel of the week. Yeah. Uh, what did you do? She understands us. And more importantly, trust me, she knows we will help her. How? It, it is, as I said, Namor is fluent in a tongue that all understand. Hell yeah. And then he's like, <laughs> explain, and then she's like, ooh, that's gross. And he's like, Listen, bitch. You yeah. have very unrefined taste. Yeah, there. I'm the king of Atlantis. I have seen all there is to see. Yeah, it, she's yeah. she's beautiful in her own right, and it's it's oh god, it was so good. Gillen and can write a name more like nobody else fuck can. Yeah. As we were talking about, you know, we were talking about Namor from uh, Defenders. This is that's my this favorite Namor. Great Namor. Mm -hmm. Oh god, he's so good. I just give me Gillen should write a Namor solo. Gillen, book. Oh, man, can we I'd bring back that. Namor the Submariner as a I'd solo book and have Gillen write it? I don't think so. Because it'd be awesome. I don't think anybody would read it. Yeah. So, um, next book. Yeah, Wolverine number three hundred two, gentlemen. I don't know if I want to keep reading. I mean, Wolverine. I'm gonna read it as long as Aaron's writing it. Um, that was my plan too, but like, I'm so very confused. Well, when Mystique's <laughs> involved, it's very easy. That's true, but um, at the same time, there are characters that I feel like I should be like, oh, that guy, and I'm just like, ah, so. Hey, that guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I don't, I don't know. I mean, I want to finish it out because. I like it. I just can't. I can't find anything to grab onto when I'm reading it. You know what I'm saying? I liked the uh, Wolverine thought he was back in hell yeah, part. And then, I thought that was and then Berserker came out. Yeah, that's that's his. It turns out that Wolverine's only psychic defense is the Berserker. Yeah, yeah. And so even when like, even even if he's being just like mind numbed, he's just like fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> which we'll talk more about later. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah. Um, it would, but so I mean, it's it's good, and J I mean, it's Jason Aaron. He's so good. I just can't. Every time I read it, I'm just like, I can't get it. I can't grab I can't it. I just can't it. grab it. You know, I can't grab it. <laughs> it is a lot of Wolvie, and it's it's they're long. All yeah, of them, it's very. I mean, three hundred was super long, but these last two have been like they're long. They're mm. twenty two pages of almost full dialogue. It's like a prose piece. Um. Moving on to Superman Action Comics number seven. Welcome back, Superman. Welcome back. Hey, guess what, guys? I know what happened in this book. <laughs> yeah. Grant Morrison's back, and it's good. And yeah. then, like, the thing is, though, at the beginning, I was like, oh, I don't understand what's going on again. And But then it, like, it became clear. Yeah, because then you were like, oh, yeah, five yeah. left off this way, yeah. and six just, like, ripped my brain apart and then this is like oh i totally remember what's going it was, on it was awesome and he got his new suit. yeah i was about to say so where did that but he they just sort of everything. is wearing it though i mean it's one of the kryptonian suits yeah right? it came from the small part of krypton that um the from internet Can has candor <laughs> yeah candor is well, well, well but brainiac we, has got it yeah we realize that uh, yeah brainiac is oh yeah i before the words brainiac were used in the book i saw the little symbol yeah and that's when i was like i yeah, is it, is it? but it's also but Brainiac is also the internet. It's Metallo the internet. though, but Metallo is also part of yeah. 
or Metal Zero. Yeah, there's it's like a collective of stuff. Did you guys read the Steel <laughs> story at the yeah, end? I did. Guess I did. what? You didn't. Nope. Oh yeah. man, it was. Well, it you was skipped super the fun. last one, so I didn't. It was I, actually, I was reading it, and I, just I was don't like, care. T- I was like, Tyler won't be reading this. It was but like, that's okay. it was like. I like that it's called Meanwhile. Here's all yeah. this. Here's all the Superman stuff that happened. What happened? Where he went? And I'm like, it doesn't. I don't no, care I, at all. But I do. I do. Yeah. Why? It's is it Sorry, consequential stretching. to the story at all? I didn't read it. Am I gonna be lost? No, you're not gonna be so lost. So I don't not, care. Yeah, it's not necessary. It's just a fun supplemental story. I had to read. Nice Comics movies. are work, don't you know? I had to read don't nineteen you know, books. I don't have time for all this meanwhile bullshit. <laughs> I need new Troy. Is real small. Superman hit it with his elbow. Got a new suit and is still in the space station. That's all I need. I don't need like steel. Then steel was cool. He was down in the thing and do with a hammer. With a hammer. Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, I think I'm the only one who read this. Yeah. Uh, X Club, number over? four of five. No. no. There's one more. This one was uh, basically Dr. Nemesis fighting Nazis, which was fun. That's right. awesome. Uh, yeah. That's it was good. great. Uh, Nemesis is the shit. What what kind of storyline is this following from week yeah. from issue to it's issue? Like, I feel like there's new shit happening every yeah, time. It's gone totally bonkers. <laughs> it is the most out of control story ever, and it is so much fun. That And I'm really starting to fall in love with Nemesis. Mm-hmm. I really, really love Dr. He, Nemesis We now. just saw him somewhere. Was it Astonishing X-Men? Yes. He was great in that, too. Uh, but his, his just general attitude towards everything is really funny and he still has the starfish on his head yeah and they just it just became significant is he is he superpowered in any way or is he just real smart he's just fucking super smart just real smart okay yeah but is he a mutant um no then why does he get think. to hang out with the x-men because he's, he's smart. very valuable yeah. so i mean kavita's not an, uh, a mutant oh yeah and she's there neither is, she's just friends with them all Brew. moira mctaggart not a mutant super cool with all the mutants there yeah. Brew yeah, ain't, ain't no mutant I really am digging this. I thought the first couple issues were meh, and then like three and four have just been like nuts, Great. and it's been really fun. I'll I'll let you guys have a lend at it so you yeah. can kind of see what's been going on. Yeah. But I've hopefully issue five holds up, but it's been super fun. It's cool. been a great. I mini. think it, isn't it like and isn't it is it consequential to anything or is it like Magneto not a hero where it's just like this happened too? We'll have to see. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. I assume it's going to be a self-contained story. Boy, there were a lot of miniseries this week. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, a ton. Uh, Wolverine Alpha and Wolverine and the X Men Alpha and Omega, uh, three of five or three of five. Mm-hmm. Um, it's really was good. so cool. Still it's awesome. Really good. Yeah. It's such a great concept and and like the way that this the way that this guy is writing Kid Omega, who is it? It's Brian Wood. Is Brian Wood, Wood. I mean, who is apparently returning from a long hi- hiatus from comic books? Yeah, yeah, that's what I heard. And he's he's writing this and Conan. Wasn't the Barbarian. he writing like a TV hmm. show or something? Uh, he writes prose mostly. Oh, anyway, it's like Ew, it's it's such a cool it's such a cool concept like that. Quentin Quire, in order to like prove to everyone that he's the best psychic of all time, creates the construct, and he puts Wolverine and um, armor. Isako. I don't know what her is. Her name Hisako. Yeah, armor, but yeah, his, yeah. Hisako Ikiji. Um, and uh, and they don't know they're they're starting to piece it together. I guess is what's going on. And Berserker is after <laughs> Quentin Quire yeah. in yeah. the real world, and he's f- freaking scared. So he like hides and puts himself in his own construct because it's gotten away from him while he was asleep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, say so it's gone completely out of control. Yeah, and so he's like a general in there. Yeah, he's he's like he's. He's the guy in charge of the operation. He's the big yeah. boss, right? He's the one they're going because now they're going to go see him. Yeah, they've decided we're not gonna we're gonna stop running and we're gonna turn around and we're gonna take the fight to him. We're I'm gonna figure out who the hell this guy is. Yeah, and uh, which is great. It's they're still trying good. to figure out who they are, why they and have why powers. they're there, yeah, and why they have powers and why they're not surprised by them. Yeah, that was the big one. Was he was like, he's I like, got oh, claws yeah. and these. Check them out. He's like, it, it doesn't bother me. He's like, it's not weird. For some reason, <laughs> yeah, it's it's re- it's been really good. It's a fun it's a fun little romp. But yeah, great stuff. Good stuff. And, uh, and uh, Rachel Gray is going to come up on the oh yeah. next week. Oh yeah. Um, uh, Animal Man number seven. Um, still continually great. great stuff. Yeah, that's good. I um, I panicked because in my mind I remembered someone is leaving Animal Man. Is it Jeff Lemire and freaked out? And then I remembered it's the artist. Travel, it's travel, travel four, four which is leaving. really sad. I yeah. flipped out, but yeah, it, it is sad because the other guy not doing so great. Like his little girl is super creepy, and uh, like that one, she makes a face like this at one point. Like, 
And it's like super creepy. Oh, yeah. Well, and he's, it, he's a, a former Animal Man artist, actually, when Grant Morrison did the book. Well, okay. Which is why they they gave it to him if Travel Foreman was. But it's a vital. huge. It's a huge departure from. Oh, the, absolutely. The tone of the of Travel Foreman's Animal mm-hmm. Man, and it's sad that Travel Foreman can't stay on to see through the first arc, at least this arc, or at least yeah. the crossover. Yeah, and because I think that's that's where this arc. Do is we going, have a date for that? No, um, but it's gotta be coming. Soon. It'll be uh, this autumn. Yeah, what? it's like August September. Well, because it's all gonna like we got like. Four or five more issues of build up, like yeah. the rock. I mean, remember, a lot of this was in the future. Okay, mm-hmm. you know. That's I true. also uh, love socks. socks yeah, is socks still is love great. socks. And uh, I loved Buddy swooping in and helping his son impress some ladies. Oh, oh man, man. That, that was. Great? Did you see it on Reddit? Thanks, someone, Dad. someone put those two pages up and it said, "Animal Man, best dad ever." Yeah, like the thing. But the thing about Animal Man is that I that for for so long until this week when we actually got some real like some solid plot movement in Swamp Thing that I really enjoyed. Animal Man has been more about him as a father. He's a family man. Yeah, than it, than it has been about him being Animal Man. And Alec Holland has just been like, well, come on, let's be Swamp Thing. You know, like that's that's kind of where that's been going. But it's been this great family dynamic. Like, well, I got kids and I got to save my children. And yeah, I got, the whole thing's happened in My mother-in-law in hates me real bad yeah. and we're all in RV together. And I just want to, I just want to like, get some food and be safe. And then yeah. Cliff buys nothing but junk food. Yeah, of course. And then he calls no his little sister Cliff. a butt lick, and I was like, oh, that's harsh. Nice. What's four a year, fuck ass? Four years old, butt lick? <laughs> Jeez. All right. Um, yeah, last and... Mo- Certainly and, not and, least. And most. Last and most. Yeah. I, have been, I have been looking forward to this book. For a while, for so long, I didn't know it was happening. Oh this man, week. it's 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 been uh, talked about and stuff on on t- interwebs. Oh, I'm and not. You on, know I don't, why? I don't use that. Um, and it, yeah, and it's because it, it's a Jonathan Hickman creator own <sighs> book, and it, it's I've seen like preview art and stuff for it like months ago. How good is the? Art? And it finally oh, came out. It finally came out. And uh, uh, did we have we said what we're talking? We're about talking yet? about Manhattan Projects number one, number one, which is from I- uh, Image. Um, and Jonathan Hickman. Yes. And who's the, the artist? Writer. Nick. Um, Second greatest. After. Remember. It is uh, written by Jonathan Hickman and drawn by Nick Patara. Patara? I, Nick, you're a good guy. If anybody, I, I feel so bad for people in general <laughs> because they can't buy, they cannot buy this book. You can't buy it. Like there were three at our comic book shop. And uh, we there got were, two of them. I got I the last one on the like shelf. You. We all have a copy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got the we last got one. All of them. First print. We got every. We yeah. got every copy that our comic book store, per, our comic book store got three. So it's it's impossible to find. It's sold out everywhere. You cannot buy it online. They're gonna have to go back and do a second run, a second print. Yeah, it, um, and we got the first print. So right. here's awesome. here's the general premise for those of you who may or may not know about this book. Uh, Manhattan Projects is about uh, what if the Manhattan Project were a front for a series of other weird experiments to try to say get like uh um create artificial intelligence using magnetic tape and vacuum tubes or which i loved that when he's looking through the floor um and then they're you know they're getting ancient weapons from magical times by uh, mining what do they call it i don't remember it's like some type of fakes it's like a interdimensional space basically yeah The, the concept is that if you can imagine it we can do we're it. going to be able to. But the build thing that's it. so great about it yeah. is it's the f- late 30s. It's the 40s. They actually already talk about. They talk about Pearl Harbor having happened. Oh yeah, so that's this is true. post yeah. Pearl Harbor. That's true. We, we okay. entered in 41. Right. Um, okay. It's the so goddamn Japanese. Actually, I early think at the 30, beginning, early it says 40s. It, I think at the beginning it says it takes place in either 41 or 42. Okay, so late uh, early 40s, which like it, a book about science and technology in the early 40s already cool because they're they're not working with anything worth a shit Mm -hmm. they've got vacuum tubes to do artificial intelligence and it's working yeah it's so good and then einstein is locked in the oh i can't wait i can't (laughs) wait to figure out what's gonna happen with einstein he's staring at some kind of a big monolithic thing and we don't know why he'll get out when i'm damn ready for him to get out and he's just like he's just staring at it and then he like he smiles a little bit, and then that's it. And then I was like, "Well, you know, he knows. He's, he's he's you in know all, he knows. He's in all of five panels of the book. Yeah, but he's and there. I, I lo- yeah, and he's there, and that's a whole thing. Is like, but 
He's but there. What else was cool? What the, I mean, the, the, I mean, let's the, talk the, about our protagonist. The a plot bit. point of the book mm, is that it's quote Robert Oppenheimer, but really it's his evil twin brother that killed him and ate him. Yeah, but ate his soul. Well, and ate him well, so ate that he, him could so have that his he soul. would know his he, soul. He, he yeah. became the dichotomy. He right. became the whole world. Which is it, like it's so interesting to me that like you would choose Robert Oppenheimer to be the split between good and evil. Mm-hmm. Like of all the people, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like he's like really because I guess I'm gonna imagine Robert Oppenheimer in this book being the blue part would probably not have agreed to creating the nuclear bomb because mm-hmm. he wouldn't want to do yeah. that. Yeah, because that's not really his thing. But yeah, and then but before you figure out that that's what happened, you get these all these little glimpses of is it Joseph? Joseph. Joseph. Yeah. You get all these little glimpses of like Joseph coming out of Robert because he's like, uh, well, don't touch, and then like like destroys the robot or whatever. Well, and I the, love the the backstory being juxtaposed where you have the blue on top, and yeah. then under it is a series of parallel panels that are all red and that are Link basically I, the same. Well, yeah, Link and I. I was asking Link. I was like, how did how did you read this? Did you, you read, can read it? Either and way. then read it across, and it you it flows perfectly. Just because I had to find out, you can read it up, down, up, yep. down, up, down, and you can read oh. the panel side by side, it's, and it still makes perfect I sense. I did this. I did the same thing. I was like, oh man, I wonder if I can read it because Jonathan Hickman is brilliant. <laughs> I know you guys got to read the Fantastic. Four. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm thinking about going back and getting some uh, some trades. Fantastic Four. Yeah. The, this current Fantastic Four is almost over, so really you yeah. can start back in like two issues. But um, I think my favorite line from this is uh, when he's when he talks about. When he kills the animals and eats them, and then when he kills Joseph and eats them, the he the line Robert. is always or Robert. The line is always, and why wouldn't he? He, he loved, loved him. him. Yeah. Like it's like, oh, that's so fucking warped, dude. Jonathan Hickman, he's <laughs> yeah. he's like, I mean, he is top. He's yeah, tip top, top top. Like he's up there. He to me, he's my favorite writer in comics right now. Most people, I mean, you'll you guys will probably disagree because Remender is really good too, mm-hmm. and he's up there. Like he's able to he's able to bring these all these parallel stories together and weave them like mm-hmm. almost secretly weave them so you're not really sure that it's happening but you know what's happening it's really good um it's i mean it was my favorite book this week probably my favorite book of i mean my favorite book of the last of this year easily mm-hmm. um and if if you, if it, you can buy it digitally on Comixology and uh, do it. You can yeah. also buy every creator owned book he's ever done as a digital uh pack on there as well oh really yeah how much is that 30 bucks but there's a lot of content in there the only problem is it's digital yeah Yeah. but still for 30 bucks it's not bad yeah it's it's got all it's got the nightly news and all his all his creator own stuff all right cool yeah well thanks for listening to probably comics in our weekly segment what's in the box what's in the box if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can follow me at Uncanny Tom. That's T H O M. And if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, I'm at D T Mills. Me, Twitter, Link Z2. <laughs> and if you want to follow the show on Twitter, which I'm not sure why, because we never say anything, <laughs> is at Probably Comics. Or you can check us out at facebook.com slash probably comics. Hit the like button. You'll probably see like a, a thing about YouTube on our on yeah, the feed. Yeah. Even mm-hmm. less than the Twitter is the Facebook. <laughs> This podcast is not officially produced by Kingdom Comes Mystic Hills, Alabama. Thanks, Dan. Albert. Why don't you whisper, Jason? Because <laughs> I'm different. Sandra. The crazy 